November 13th, seven days from turning 25. That's the situation I'm in. Happy Monday. I feel great. I feel centered. I feel aware. I feel present. I feel connected to all the right answers. And with that, I'm humbled and grateful. I understand that the world is in a very, very crazy place. And not only is everyone going through what they're going through at home, but there's so many wars. There's so many wars, not only physically in Israel and, and in Gaza, but mentally. And I think that's why this these things spread. They spread like wildfires because it's just a matter of time before it happens somewhere else. This fire is waiting to spread. But I remind myself that even forest fires are necessary. I remind myself that sometimes we go through pain to avoid more pain. And I remind myself that the storm is always coming. You're either in a storm or one is coming. And I remind myself to embrace the aspects of nature that sometimes cause the human body a little bit of discomfort. And so with this season of transformation, I ask myself, what parts of myself need to transform? And there has been parts of myself that have been feeling exhausted. But I remind myself that those are the parts of me that are growing. You know, I've been going to the gym quite consistently. This will be uh, week five, I believe. And as I'm hitting the gym and as I'm experiencing this soreness and this um, week by week transformation, I realize that my muscles, too, are doing what I am doing mentally and spiritually. They are being broken down and they are rebuilding themselves. Um, and that, can, that, that right there can feel exhausting, but that is the part of me that wants to grow. I want to be surrounded by people that are on hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of days of transformation, of consistent transformation, consistent refinement. Um, and as I reach for those levels, I understand what it requires for me to do in order to inherit that reality. I have to be in a constant state of refinement. I have to allow myself to step into that fire. I was part of a group coaching platform once called Limitless Society. And one of the first things I heard that really changed my, 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 my mental framework was that transformation is like an alchemical fire. You step into it full body and that fire burns away the parts of you that are weak. And it allows you to rebuild a much stronger, more vital body, mind, spirit. And so I want to be around people that have been in that state for hundreds of days. Why? Because there's, to me, a version of reality there that is closer to the pulse, closer to what it is that I want to feel spiritually. And... I've obviously been in a big transformation for a very long time. You know, everything I've done up until this point has been a day of seeking one at a time, a day of wanting more, a day of ambitious thoughts leaking into my mind and figuring out systems and frameworks of how I could actually make that happen. And so I know that I've been on a transformation and I, and I respect myself for that and I love myself for that. But there's still a part of me that knows that the fire, I can crank up the heat, you know? Does anybody feel like that? You can crank up the heat, and my body is yearning for that. And so I'm excited for what these days and what these years will unfold for me. I'm excited for the community that I inherit. I am excited for the team and the family that I inherit. I am excited for the visions and the dreams, the thoughts that I will inherit. I'm grateful and blessed by the body and the state of mind that I will inherit. I know that we are only here for so much time, and I want to make sure that I'm creating from a place of abundance. And I know that internally, but I just want to get my head above water. I want to see what freedom, full freedom feels like. And I want to obtain that day, that day where I can put my head above water and go, wait a second, I see now. I see now. I see what's going on. And I feel like 
in order to reach that place, we have to all ask ourselves, what areas of our lives are we not taking seriously? What aspects of freedoms in our lives are we not taking seriously? I ask myself that constantly. I was listening to a podcast today, and I understood from this podcast that when you grow up in a hectic environment, that you tend to shame yourself when things aren't crazy. And so I also am very careful that I'm not manifesting from trauma. I don't want to manifest from trauma, but I want consistency. I want a level of stability that for me will feel like I am having my head above water. Um, But I know that there requires of me a version of patience, of perspective, and of power. You know, to sit in that fire for hundreds of days, you know, to really crank up the heat like I like I feel internally. You know, I want to I want to crank up the heat, but I also want to make sure that I'm not doing so from a place of trauma and that I'm thinking about consistency, sustainability. But, you know, there's always a, 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 a voice in my head that's like push a little bit harder, push a little bit harder. And so that's what I do on a daily basis. That's what I create, what I create, because I want to continuously push myself. I want to see more. I want to feel more. I want to experience more. And I'm so blessed. I feel so grateful that I even get to think about things like this, that I even get to create with ideas like this. I am so blessed that I have the capabilities to get myself out of my own mess. And I wasn't always like that. I remember when I was younger, I genuinely thought that hard work did not pay off. And I was okay with that. You know, there were thoughts of, oh, I'll just become a cop. I'll just join the military. You know, these like cop outs. Um, But that wasn't for me. And the reason I knew that that wasn't for me is because I knew what laughter felt like. I knew what love felt like. And whenever I thought about my easy cop outs, those didn't feel like love. Those didn't feel like abundance. And what I am seeking, there's this natural pull. This, uh, you know, natural gravitation towards this thing because I love this thing and this thing is of love and that's why I want to increase the heat because there's a part of me that loves it there's a part of me that loves to sweat you know there's a part of me that can't get enough of it and I'm going to pursue that passion and that drive for as long as I can I'm going to create from that affinity for as long as I can because I know that if I create from this fuel source and, 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 and channel from this fuel source and the reason why I even create, for example, specifically on YouTube and all these different platforms is because I know it creates more love and it creates more abundance because other people experience it and they, and they feel it in their heart. So, you know, little subtle plug there. I, I hope you are feeling this. This is there's a lot of love here. I'm sitting here and I'm. Looking at this fluffy cat to my right, Mr. Kilo. I'm looking at these trees and it's early morning, Monday. And all I feel is potential. You know, I feel that there is this immense potential ahead of me this week. There's an immense potential, even just for this day, an immense potential for creation. An immense potential for refinement. And it excites me. Sometimes it's a little overwhelming. But... I know to just take it one day at a time because if I if I stress myself out too much in today then this week will just be a mess you know I know this week will just be a mess so I'm gonna pace myself take it one day at a time take it one hour at a time accomplish something great stand up take a break walk around play with the cats and continue that momentum this nice little flow of pull and push in my own way. I've been really feeling into the rise energy of the day when the sun is rising. I can feel that rise energy. I can almost tap into it myself. 
And then as it's falling, I can always I can also tap into that energy as well. I've been organizing my early morning days to have rise energy. So like planting seeds and sales, generating leads. That's rise energy. And then falling energy might be editing some content, responding to messages, all sorts of those things. You know, I think that what I'm experiencing in a, in a very basic way is what work is looking like for a human in 2023. You know, I live in an apartment. I have responsibilities. I don't have kids yet, but I do have responsibilities and those responsibilities are paid for with my creativity and my fulfillment and my systems. And so that's what I'm experiencing. You know, obviously every day I, I, I'm the one that have, has to figure that out. But I am conscious that that is what I'm experiencing. And with that, I know that there are so many multidimensional lessons in this experience alone. But I know that when I tap into the presence of the day, I can feel this rise energy. When I tap into the early morning silence and darkness, I can feel the presence I can feel myself rise up, up out of that darkness and start to hunt, kind of like an early bird. Start to hunt. As I fill my belly with everything that I have hunted, I begin to rest, but still prepare for the next day. And so I invite you to think about it from that basic, fundamental, energetic frame of thinking because it's very, very closely connected to what we are experiencing. You are not just a human being. You are a spiritual entity. And with that spirituality comes a many different multidimensional senses. You know, we have five senses that we're conscious of. But what about the other ones? What, are, what, is, what is our spirit conscious of? You know, the people say the sixth sense. What, what are we tapping into? And as we're tapping into all these different things, just reminding ourselves and bringing us back to the natural rise and flow of what it is to even exist, right? The natural rise and flow to what it is to transform, you know? I transform through my rises and through my falls because I'm doing them a little bit differently than, I want to, than how I used to. And so it's all progress. It's all progress. And I'm grateful. I'm grateful for you listening to this because we're connecting and we're speaking about something very important. I'm grateful that I understand that that's how it works. And I'm grateful for today. I'm grateful for today and what is yet to come. I'm ready to create, and I hope you are too. Thank you so much for watching this episode. That has, this has been the Basement Diaries episode two. I've had a lot of fun creating and seeing people's feedback off of this series, and I can't wait to continue. If you haven't liked already, please leave a like. If you have a thought in your mind, please share it in the comment section. And if you want to be part of the community, make sure to subscribe. I'll see you in the next episode. Peace.